Hamza, what do you think about Sneeko getting cancelled from social media? For example, his Twitter is deleted because talking about masculine stuff or something. Yeah. So Sneeko got banned on Twitter. I don't. Uh, I checked yesterday. He's not banned on like YouTube or anything, but he's banned on Twitter now, which is fucking sad. To, I don't know what he was posting on Twitter. I don't like keep up to date with like influencers and you know, oh, someone's just been banned or anything. I'm, I'm usually like a couple of days late when something like that's happened. So I don't know what he was posting, but probably similar to the kind of stuff that he says on YouTube where, you know, he's been against like modern women and modern times and everything. And he's speaking about masculinity and weak men and everything. And to get banned for something like that is such a fucking d disgrace, honestly. Like, I think Fresh from Fresh and Fit made a good point that we can't really make the argument that, oh, they're, they're not giving you your freedom of speech because these are private companies who don't have to follow like the big law of your government. They're literally private com companies, and they can cons like they can determine what violates the terms and conditions or not. For example, I'm banned on Instagram. I don't know how many of you guys have seen that. I'm banned on Instagram. How fucked is that? I made a video saying that Instagram is bad for your mental health and that we should delete it, and then they banned me after that. I think this is the modern day assassination. I think if you previously rustled the wrong feathers, if you previously previously like say 20 years ago, 50 years ago, this kind of um, WikiLeaks. Do you guys remember that guy? What was his name? Julian Assange or some shit. It was like this guy who leaked a lot of like the wrongdoings of the American government or something like that. And he had to go into hiding because the American government were trying to like assassinate him. Like obviously I'm getting this completely wrong because it's been a few years and I'm not like up to date with news or anything. But it was Julian Assange, something like that. And he, he created WikiLeaks, which leaked a bunch of like bad shit that like the government or someone in power was, was doing. And then he had like assassination attempts on him. And I think it's this, the exact same thing. But now, just in the digital era, where instead of getting assassinated, you'll just get cancelled, you'll get silenced, you'll you'll be made dis to disappear. True opinion on Andrew Tate, spreading a very good message. He is the absolute epitome of a man with 100% masculine energy, and I don't think the world is ready for that. I think the world is so protected and comfortable and safe that so many people will hate a man like that because he isn't necessarily needed just yet. But as I've always said, the strong men will be needed soon. Don't you think Andrew Tate is at least a little demeaning to women? Um, demeaning to women. It depends what your expectation and current belief of women and relationships are. If you're more of like a modern male feminist, weak man, and you believe in the lie of equality, especially in a relationship, and you think men and women are the same and everything, and you think that men and women should both bring masculine and feminine traits like we should as a man we should bring masculine and feminine and she should bring masculine and feminine and we're deep, if you want a depolarized non-sexual relationship the kind of one where your woman can't help but to fantasize about some masculine guy who used to absolutely dominate her if you're one of these modern men then yeah you probably do think that someone like andrew tate's being like very sexist because his perception of women very largely goes against your perception of women but the more masculine you get and the more you realize how different you are to women especially feminine women you kind of realize like the offensive shit he's saying the really sexist shit he's saying has a lot a lot of like fact behind it but you'll only really see that if you've become that level of man and also that sort of polarity that's that energy of man where you're so masculine where you can actually be around feminine women so when I, when andrew tate was first going viral i thought he was a bit crazy as well and this was you know six year, six months ago and that's because i was i was somewhat dating more of like a normal more like masculine kind of woman who wasn't like very feminine and so i couldn't and my experiences were always with women who were more in the middle and I, because i was a lot more in the middle the last six months has been almost like a full-time job for me to become more masculine i think this is one of the most important things that i've done maybe just behind improving my mental health. I've become so much more masculine. I've learned so much more about it. You've probably noticed because I talk about it so much more on YouTube. And because of that, I'm automatically attracting more feminine women. And I realized like how, just how different we are. And so much of the shit that offended me that Andrew Tate used to say six months ago that I was so certain was like crazy. And now I'm like, fuck, like he literally predicted this. That's exactly the dynamic that I have with the girl that I'm with right now. So I feel like for the people who really disagree with this message in terms of what he says about women, I just wouldn't be surprised if those guys are just dating more masculine women and so they've never really spent time with feminine women before.